Hello guys and welcome. Uh, this will be my first Gears 5 video, uh, so I'll make it quick. Uh, I want to show you all of the Gears of War modes, many modes, uh, so this is not going to be an introduction video. Uh, as in, I'll, I, I am skipping the bootcamp and stuff like that, and I had to reveal all of the treasures that I have received from playing the Gears of War tech test and Gears of War 4. For uh, during that time, so you won't see that. Come on. Uh, also, I'll answer the questions if it's possible to play horde mode and versus mode offline, also escape mode. I'll play one Gears 4 video and I'll show you my um, my controller scheme. So this video might be useful for both beginners and people who wanna who have been playing Gears 4 but are not sure if or Gears 3 or Gears 2. You know, there's or Gears 1 or Judgment. So you might make a decision if you want to continue playing the game, and I think that this 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 game for the time being is great. I like the fact that it's similar to Gears 2 when it comes to gameplay, um, because it's a bit slower than Gears 4 and it's easier to use. And I also love the graphics. Anyway, let's get to the point. So first thing I'm going to show you is my control scheme. So I'm using classic alt. With look, target sensitivity and zoom set at 26, then aim acceleration set at 10, inner dead zones this way, um, and then I have remapped two buttons, A with LB, Alex with RB, and the other way around, right? I'm, I'm playing on Razel Wildcat, which has extra bumpers at the top of the pad, so it's quite useful in my opinion. So, I was, so probably, that's when it comes to controller scheme, I won't go any, into much details, let's take a look at the first extra many mode which is extras so you can see credits you can see previously in Gears of War 4 you can see Gears of War State of Universe so these extras are gonna contain spoilers and I'm not gonna play them again this probably will ex this will probably explain the whole Gears of War 4 um, scenario and this will explain this universe of the Gears of War right so no reason to get a bootcamp is a train mode that you can use to learn all of the basics of the Gears of War mechanics like movement, targeting, stuff like that. Fortunately, you can skip it because you couldn't have done it in Gears of War Tactics. So I'm not gonna go through it anymore. Horde and escape. Horde is the favorite mode of multiple people, and I'm, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna test if it's possible to play it offline. Let me see. Let's take a look. I'll turn my G Xbox offline. Network settings go offline right I know we like that guys I know we like that guys and voila let's go hard let's see mm -hmm. I guess okay yeah this didn't catch no just as I expected you can't play hard mode offline that's it I know it's shit so let's see if we can play versus offline Yes, we can play a LAN gamed um, versus mode. That's good. That's good. Let's see if we can, can play campaign offline. Yes, we can play campaign offline. And if we can play escape mode offline. No, we can't play escape mode offline. This is shit. Oh my god. I, I, I guess you guys will keep on arguing. Or actually getting upset about the fact because uh, the these modes would especially escape could be playable from offline network settings let's see oh, I'm sorry my bad here all right yeah so let's try the escape mode a new mode uh, I should be online in a minute or two I think I need to rest of the game I need to rest of the game because I am online and the game doesn't see me. So yeah, this is something else that you might take in, into account. Let's restart Gears 5. Oh, actually, that's good I, because I'll show you the welcome screen of Gears 5. So yeah, I know that I had a, have made videos previously when people were asking if Horde mode is available offline, if Versus mode is available offline, and the set of modes that we have. So. These two questions have been answered. We can't play either escape, neither escape, neither horde mode offline. It's a pity because I think that I would be would like to be playing escape mode, especially given the fact it has a map editor. 
Anyway, take a look at the intro. I love this omen. Um, I, yesterday I have been to a event in Warsaw where we could play Gears 4, Gears 5 before the actual premiere, before the actual uh, Game Pass Ultimate version. This was an amazing event held in Poland and, and, and the capital in Warsaw. Coalition, uh, coalition guy gave us a nice uh, the patriotic speech, which is quite important for Paul, as I'm from Poland. And um, uh, what's more is that we have received some gifts like uh, a hoodie with uh, omen sign, stuff like that. And uh, we'll be making a video of this whole uh, whole event that has been, although it will be in Polish, but I will I'll post a video link of some stuff, and some stuff might be uh, interesting for you. Anyway, back to the topic of the movie. Let's go through the let's go through the differences made and and through the different mini sections. Those of you who played Gears of War 4 and those of you who have watched my videos may have noticed that the mini mini has changed and it's a uh, a pop up bar at the bottom. So let's take a look at the store. I've had some esports and and paid skins on my end uh, in Gears of War 4 so let's see how this looks like you can buy some for the moment you can buy some uh, items using icons which you earn for playing okay these are featured items so there, there hasn't been any featured item uh, in Gears of War 4 you have special offers so I guess it's a promotion and you can pay for a legendary a a a p e pack which has a extra suit and you can use Polish currency for that which is Around twenty dollars. They are fucked up. I'm not gonna pay twenty dollars for that. Not at all. You guys are kidding me. Although the weapon skins are good, it's a waste of money. Sorry. Okay, we got words and flags, and I think I'll use my flag, which is Poland. Let's see if we have Poland here. Uh, I like the customization screen. It's always, it always gives you some ability to express yourself. All right, is there Poland here? Argentina, Serbia, Belgium, People's Republic of China, Denmark, France, Germany, India, Iceland. Why is there no Poland? <laughs> All right, there is Poland. I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna purchase that. This is the first thing I'm gonna do. Ha! <laughs> nice. I have to call the button, and I got the Polish flag on my account. Great. Perfect. So let's see all of the other. I'm sorry. Let's see all of the other items. In the store, we have the boost. Boost uh, increases your experience gain, so you get double XP when boost is activated. But I don't think there's a need to buy that at the beginning, because I would save all the money you have for for those promotions once you get familiar with the gameplay and stuff like that. Then you are getting good, and if you are being good and doing a lot of kills, then you get a lot of experience points. Okay, you got you can get some iron, but I guess you can win the iron during the gameplay, so there's no need to do it. Alright, let's, let's take a look at the other one. Let's customize characters, weapons, and marks. So I'll go for the character customization screen first. Let's do it. So, on both sides we have uh, Coke, and on this side we got Locust. So I'll go for the characters. This is Caitlyn, which I won't go through all of these, but I'll just go for, for a couple of them. We, we've got Caitlyn, the main Kate, the main character of the series. She's, she's the main character of the campaign, which might be interesting. Uh, we got JD, which is son of this dude, which is Marcus Phoenix, who everybody should know. Uh, also, we got Keegan, I know this guy. We got Lani, so these outside of Dell, JD, Kate, and Marcus, these are all new characters. And this, and we also got Sarah Connor, which is a advertisement from Terminator Dark, Dark Fate, and I'm gonna use this character while playing um, Cog. Let's customize my skin. Okay, I got the. I got the tester banner, which means that I have been testing the game. So I'll leave it. I won't use Polish flag this time, but I'll use the tester because I'm playing the test expressions. Like, 
All right, okay. expressions are. I am not sure how to use it and if it's needed for me, but I'll just, let's just take a look. Let's use. I'll keep my thanks expression and I'll have it associated with up. I'm not sure what button should we press to do an expression, but let's take a look at this real quick. Um, aim, shoot, reload, use, revive, evade, take over, switch weapon, look. I don't know. Well, fuck that. Hey, thanks. Flank them. Group up. Good work. Hey. Okay, hello is not needed. Flank them. Flank them could be useful. Yeah, group and group up could be useful as well. Actually, it's good that they added that because I used to have a keyboard to type in the commands that I had with people outside of the group, so it's a, it might be really useful. Horde setup. Excuse me for a while. Ah, my glasses. Just give me a second, I need to polish them. So I got Saraconor, it's a... Oh, right, yeah, what's different in new core mode is that Sarah is that there are classes of enrolls and Sarah is a tank, so tank can take hits, keep going. Nice classes. A limitation that has been applied in Gears of War 4, but I have I am not that hard player, so I won't go into much details here. I like competitive mode, especially ex escalation. So yeah, if you want to know about more about the horde, that's not a video for you. All right, she's got some abilities and stuff like that. Uh, f very good. Yeah. Um, all right, so we can. Select weapons that we have and, and assign a skill. I'm not gonna go through much of this because I'm not a horde player myself, so let's forget about it. Escape setup. Haven't played this mode yet, so I'm not sure what's uh, going on here. I see that we have the roles, abilities, and passive abilities. We can assign some weapons and as assign a skill. Okay, score boost. So we can choose from a number of skill cards that, similar to horde mode from Gears of War 4, allow you modify your characters, powers, abilities and stuff like that, which is useful uh, given the fact each horde mode, each horde wave is much harder. So we have to develop your character. It's a part of RPG. Okay, play okay. So um we have the banner, we have the skin. Um I want to know how to customize the weapon looks, but it's probably not here. Uh also getting back to low cost, these guys have all Hunter had a different design, as far as I can tell, have been in Gears of War 4. Yeah, they, they are outside of the T-800 Endoskeleton, which is a Terminator Dark Fate character. Nice. Okay, so let's go back, let's customize weapons. Okay, so... The weapon customization screen lists all of the weapons and you can choose all of them, or actually one of them at a time, and then customize the screen. So I'm gonna customize. A, I'm gonna customize only Gnasher because that's the weapon that I use the most, and I can't use any other skin, and I can't change an execution. It's which is nice. It seems that there will be multiple executions for each weapon used. Blood sprays. I'll use Gear Sports, Gears for Esports supporter because I have been loyal and I have been paying for esports. Um, Terminator Dark Fate looks nice as well, but I want to use this spray. Well, although I don't know how to use it actually. Okay, so with weapon customization over. When speaking of marks, I want to use esports supporter mark. That's definitely something that I want to use. So customization screen ended. Web. Now let's go to the stats mode. Okay, so stats mode will list all of your stats. Com divided into all of the modes that you have, so let's say we want to see at our versus stats. Since I haven't played, there's nothing in here, but you can choose from number of tabs. Over you run click play, and you can also choose from a different gameplay modes, ranked and quick play. Quick play and ranked are probably so obvious that I don't have to explain the difference between the those two. In the news section, we have the welcome information, we have an early access version of course. So here's all of the list of all of the features that I have. Operation 1 launch. So we can go through all of that. What's next?
Alright, good. I hope you guys read all of that. I didn't go into much detail because since you can't read it, there's no need for me to explain it, right? Alright, now finally the mode that I haven't yet attached outside of options that I attached and I'm not gonna know in further detail is the help guide which you have hmm, which you can select from a number of categories from right and I think um, I'll just go through I'll just randomly go through all of that and, and you can see what's what is going on here, right? You can you have explanation to all of the game mechanics to all of the boosts, this mostly applies to honors and also a very nice new feature which applies mostly to the m multiplayer modes, so yeah it's not for offline players, right? yeah you, you have the help guides for whole stuff, this is amazing that I created this help guide, honestly this will come in handy for all of the uh, new players and we're gonna map builder I'm gonna go f and make a video of a map builder itself, a separate one, where I go through the basics of the map builder, which applies to the escape mode for the for the current moment. Let's see if how we can do it. Map sharing. Let's see if it's under map sharing. My maps, I can create a new map, and I'm gonna do it in the next video. But in this video, I have gone through all of the things that I wanted, and I'm gonna play one versus mode, and let's play quick play. I usually play ranked escalation in my team, so I may not, I may not be that good solo player, but escalation is is my favorite mode. I also play occasionally team deathmatch and stuff like that. My favorite mode was wingman anyway. I see they've modified it, and there's no execution at this moment, which is strange. But let's play quick play. I don't want to play arcade arcade mode. Arcade mode is a bit different from classic quick play because it's something that I'll go through in a different video as well. So let's play some basic social quick play mode for the time being of this video. I may be speaking too fast because I'm not a native speaker, so forget, forgive me for that. I hope that I'm doing the doing fine so far, and I hope you guys will enjoy this video because it might be useful for new players to get a hold on of the gears. And during the gameplay, I will focus on playing instead of talking because I can't combine the two. So. Just take a look at it. If if you are feeling that you've watched enough already, please make sure to subscribe. Please be reminded that I upload another video that I explain the map editor and the arcade modes. I'm a programmer myself, so map editor. I think I'll be making quite a lot of videos regarding the map editor if it will come interesting for me. I have been work doing like that since Warcraft 3 and Warcraft 2 and doing maps, so time splitters. So yeah, I'm, I might take a lot of t I might take some time, spend some time on the map at like the glorious Okay, I'm on the left. Kids select drone. And I'm starting with Gnasher. Let's see. Okay, we have a single bot. And that's a new map. No, it's not a new map, or is it? A new map? I don't know. Yeah, it's a new map. Where are these guys? Okay, this will be easy. Oh, that's nice. They didn't see that coming. He's dead. I'll take this. Fuck it. Alright, so that's a new weapon. Oh fuck! What was that? Yeah, he hit me with a new, a new weapon as well. What's new in this game is kill cam. Ah, lovely, lovely. I love it. This is extraordinary. Alright, let's go, let's go. So, incinerator grenades is... Someone that would fire the floor, uh, and it's good.
because people entering that not knowing that they will enter that will lose some health and I can explode it. Ah, she's, she's, yeah, I, I hoped that she would come closer, so I wanted to explode the grenade while she would be close enough, but she killed me. You know that uh, you can't kill people while playing escalation mode uh, using the Nasher, using the Lancer, so this wouldn't have happened if I was playing the escalation mode. Ah, I wanted to chase him. Okay, I, I need to stop talking. I like the kill cam though. It's a new feature that hasn't been in Gears of War 4, and I think that it's uh, pretty nice because you can have a better overview of yourself and see what kind of mistake might you might have done. Okay, you have to be careful when it's over really here. Let's mark her. I might mark her with my metal stick. She's dead. What the fuck happened here? Alright. The double. Nice. Okay, I'll take care of. No, they are under. I am an idiot because they are invincible for some time. Ah, this was this was a bad idea. I wasn't I wasn't certain that they would come after me. Let's see what are the stats. And yeah, I'm second. That's not so bad, but it's still a social game. So uh, you know, uh, since we're playing team deathmatch mode, their uh, their their lives are about to be depleted. So we have still two more lives to go through, and I don't want to die here. I need to be careful because. No, oh, I didn't do it. Ah, I love this weapon. <coughs> yeah, I was a bit too far away. I still got one life left. <coughs> Sorry for going so like crazy, but uh, that's a new weapon and I find it pretty exciting to use. So I feel like Thor from Avengers Infinity War. Kill. Ah, fuck. I should have cut him with, with a knife sooner. That was my bad. You can do so by pressing B in my controller setup. Very good, we won the first round and this will be it for this video. In the next video I'll be playing some online modes, but I'm gonna show you post it on YouTube or on Mixer first. If you enjoyed the video, remember that I'll be also making map editor tutorials and I think I'll create one quite soon. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you guys liked it and subscribe for more videos.